I'm in the attic getting ready to drill a hole next to the chimney to run a coaxial cable from here in the attic down to the basement so that we can potentially set up a TV antenna up here or have that capability to do that. I'm going to be hiding this cable within the walls while it, everything's opened up um, and I can get access in and around all the studs. So this cable will be completely concealed within the house and it won't be hard to snake it. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is where my entry point is gonna be. The chimney is basically right there behind that block of wood. And if you can see right there is one of the spikes coming through from the new stud wall down below, which is framing in part of the closet in the master bedroom. So my plan is to actually drill a hole kind of right in there. Um, so that I'm coming down into that stud wall for that closet in the master bedroom. I'm actually using a half inch drill bit for this so that the hole will be plenty large enough for the cable and it should move easily without snagging. I don't think that you're really gonna be able to see much as I try and drill this just because it's down here in the dark, but we'll see how this goes. Well, we punched through. Let's go see how we did downstairs and see where it comes out. So there's our hole right here in the sidewall of this closet. What I'll do is go up and feed that wire down through just so the end is sticking through. And then I'll decide where to run it through these studs so that we can get that wire um, down to the floor here to go down through this floor into the downstairs. All right, the wire is now fed down through the hole and I think my plan is actually gonna be to put a hole through this stud into this other bay and then put a hole through this up here to come into this bay, this ceiling area, because this should get covered then I'll put a hole over here to run it into this bay, and then I can run right down the edge of this stud, down to the floor, and then make my hole to go down through to the dining room chase below, right next to where those pipes come through. So that's my plan. So we now have hole there through that stud. We've got the holes here through this ceiling cavity to get in there. We can now run that wire down this stud down here to the floor. And then my plan is to drill down through the floor here, about two, three inches to the right of that PVC drain. We'll go downstairs and check that there's nothing there that's gonna interfere with putting a hole there. And I may actually drill the hole from the bottom up because of these two two by fours here. I don't think I'll be able to get my hand in there with the drill with sufficient working room to actually drill the hole. So let's go take a look downstairs. So right there is the PVC drain that I'm talking about. You can see we do have a PEX water line here to watch out for, which is why I'm gonna drill from down here. So I'm aiming to drill kind of right there between those and come up right through next to this PVC. And then what we'll do is we'll run the cable wire kind of up above those water lines, get them back over into here, and then sneak it down um, kind of with those pipes and get it down to the floor over here. So let's set up to drill that hole. All 
right, I've now drilled through from downstairs. We can see the hole there. So now I'm just gonna feed the wire through all these holes and feed it downstairs. And then we'll take a look in the basement and work on drilling the hole uh, to feed it down into the basement. Is now fed down through around the corner and it's loosely fed down and down into the dining room hopefully I fed down enough in terms of how much slack I've left up in the attic but I may want to feed through a little bit more to reduce how much slack there is in the attic and put more slack in the basement to give me flexibility to connect down there so here is where that PVC drain and these water lines come through into the basement next to the chimney. So what I'm going to do is just try and find a spot next to that PVC, maybe right about there where that light is, just to the right of it. Alternatively, I may go just to the left of it, but I think going just to the right of it is going to be better. And I'll just bring that wire down here and kind of coil it up and hang it. But that'll be the plan. I'll drill the hole from above. Um, so that I can see exactly where those pipes are, make sure I'm avoiding them. Because it's definitely clear here underneath if I go to that side. Well, based on how this looks up here, I'm not going to be able to go exactly where I wanted to. Instead, I think I'm going to have to go right here by this larger pipe, kind of squeeze right in there next to it, which is pretty close to the chimney. But I think that's going to be the best bet because I can't get back in over there where I was thinking of going. And that refrigerant line and everything comes down pretty tight here. So I think I'm gonna go right there. just put in a few uh, staples along the run to hold it in place. Well, here it is, all tacked in place, running down the stud and downstairs and all the way into the basement. So that's a success. We now have a coaxial cable running from the attic all the way down to the basement, which will enable us to hook up a TV antenna uh, as we see fit. <laughs> 